Hello, welcome back to the Spiders Web. And in this video, we're going to be painting the Minotaur. May need to zoom out for this one. Oh, we are fully zoomed out. Ooh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> it's going to be quite a simple ish uh, miniature to paint. Um, it's not going to take a vast amount of colours to paint this. So let's get on with it, shall we? Starting off, there's a paint that I've used quite a bit, and it's only, I think, very appropriate for this particular miniature. Doom Ball Brown. Mmm. <laughs> He's the Minotaur, he is the Doom Ball. So we'll get a bit of this on the palette. I may need quite a bit of this on the palette. In fact, I'm going to put two bits of this down because. I'm going to mix another colour in with this. So the next colour I'm going to put in with that is another one we use quite frequently, um, and I mainly use it to water to uh, make colours paler. It's Screaming Skull. And I'm going to put this in with this colour. Um, okay, I've got that, but I don't like the way that's looking. So I'm going to add another colour in with it to grey it down quite a bit. The other colour is Administratum Grey. And for the amount I want of this, I seriously think I've gone overboard. But We'll see how it goes. Okay, so first off, this grey that I've just mixed, I'm going to have to get a move on with this. Uh, so this grey I've just mixed now, um, I have a uh, mist brush. I'm just going to use this. And this will be going on his chest. Um, because I want quite a pale. on his chest so I think this might be ideal um, it might look different once I've got the wash on So hopefully, I'm 
that's okay so when we come around to this color we can hopefully just pop it straight on I'm going to the other side of this as well now to try and blend it all together um, That's right. This is the reason I'm trying to be quick with painting this because I don't want it to dry while I'm doing this. We have a couple more big monsters to paint, the Cerberus and the Hydra. And for that I think I need a much wider angle of lens or set the camera up a lot higher because the Hydra is a very very big model. Um, but the thing is I want to paint the gods last so you can try to build up to the bigger models but in this circumstance unless of course a model I just want to paint I want to try something with in the case of the the big snake in Conan and I really wanted to paint that I wanted to see how it looked uh, doing it a certain way So I did that first. I must admit I quite like the way it turned out. There we are. So that is the flesh of the Minotaur done. Might look nothing now, but it's only days. Don't panic. <laughs> Next we are going to be using um, oh, I'm going to be painting what I'll give that a chance to dry and we'll paint the mane and paint on the fur around here and then eventually do the tail and as I said we're going to use black for that um, Abaddon black is the colour we're using um, so we'll bang some of that on the palette I'm getting with it. And I'm not trying to be too careful in what I'm doing because 
it's a main if I go over somewhere it's just a, a loose bit of fur Plus it's going to have a black um, wash put over it a little bit later to completely grey the miniature down. Right. I will be going through the um, all the cuts and the tears and the scars on its body. So you know, well we just started basically painting this mini, so don't expect too much too soon. It takes time. I'm hoping that this is part of the main. Um. Snapping the paint on. Oh, just like so. Um, I really don't think this is part of the main. But, yeah, that's why. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to paint the very tip of the tail black and then I'll go back into a Doomball Brown and paint the rest of the tail in that colour. But first I'm going to wash my brush out, give it a little bit of a dry. I'll try and water it down. And I dry it off. There we go. Um, again, I'll just go back into the black and touch up on the tip of the tail, and then wash the brush out. So we're going to use. Uh, another muted colour for the cloth there. Um, for the horns, we're going to use Administratum Grey. I should have actually put some on the palette, but I didn't. So Administratum Grey, I'll pop a little bit of the black in it as well, just to darken it a touch. That will do. And we'll just go over the horns with this. And we'll also go over the teeth as well with this colour, but obviously we'll have to change brushes before I can do that.
There we go. And we'll just change the brush into the this mix and I'm just going to paint straight across and cover all this bit in uh, because when we come down to washing I'm going to allow the wash to do its job and uh, fill in and find the details. Next, using a little bit of the Evil Sun Scarlet. We'll pop a little bit in the eye. There we go. And now we're going to use another muted colour for the cloth around his waist, which will be uh, Balor Brown. And I think this is another one of those colours that is quite um, watery. So I'm not going to put it on the palette. I'm just going to add it straight to the model right from the straight from the brush or straight from the pot rather. The brush again is damp. Right, I think that is it. And now we can go back into the Doom Bull Brown. And paint the tail. And we just need to try and... do this without taking off any of the previous colour that we just put on. I really should have done this first, but never mind. <laughs> there we go. 
don't know if you see anywhere where you've missed the first time you can always go back and touch up I think I've got everywhere now. Not quite. There we go. And that's well, so I think we'll do. Next. We have the axe handle and it's wood and the one we usually use for, use for wood is dried bark and this and today is no exception we're going to use this for the wood uh, pop a little bit on the pallet and we'll just go straight along and paint. Now I think this is like a stone birch thing here. Uh, so I'm going to do that accordingly. Um, So I think I might paint this grey as well. Um, I'm not bothered too much at the moment of going over any of the bits I've not painted. If I had painted them then I'd be a bit more careful, but I'm not. Because I can always go over them later on. And we're just looking at um, just colouring in basically. That's all we're looking at doing for the time being. And I think that's that. Next, so we can use a mix of colours, the black, the grey we mixed earlier and some of the dried bark and we'll go over this. We could have used ashen grey or something like that but one of the uh, commas with her, I thought might as well just mix a little bit. On the colours you can buy, you can mix as long as you've got um, basically the primary colours. But it just makes it a little bit easier and a little less thinky if you've got a, a half decent range of colours. If you don't, if you only have a limited number of colours, as long as you've got the primary ones, uh, red, blue, and yellow, uh, and then black and white, you can. You've got all the colours of the rainbow there. So there's the. Axe thing me bob done. Um, next, I'm going to use a little bit of pallid witch flesh. I'm going to use this straight out of the pot using a damp brush. Um, and I'm going to paint this wrapping around the axe. Uh, 
Yeah, I think I need to go over the axe handle again because I haven't quite covered everything. There we go, and I'm also going to go over this skull. There we are. And that's it for that bit. Next job we're going to do is the leather binding around the wrist. And for that, we're going to use. Hmm. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Corn red. We use this quite often, as you may have noticed. Uh, but I'm going to use corn red. A little bit of that. I'll scrape some back into the jar because I don't want. All, I don't need all of that. And into that, I'm going to pop a little bit of the black to make it just a bit darker. And there we are and I'm going to go over all this completely and We'll go get this all filled in and then once it's dried we can come along and then give it a wash. That's a no no all the way with this one for me. If you want to do something different then fine. If your model if you're painting this you, you paint it the colour as you want, not necessarily what somebody else does. trying to do is just filling and blocking colour. This is the first painting you've seen, or first video you've seen of mine, then we do this all the time. It's this first base coat to blocking the colour, give it a wash and then when we come back we start applying highlights. And I've just noticed I've missed an area of skin. So I'll just go over that. Um, Just make sure that the paint or no, where the paint is is where you want it to be.
And now, as I said, I just need to nip back into the dry head burke just to touch up the handle of the um, apse. It's not so much an axe, I don't know what it is, but I'm calling it an axe because it's what it reminds me of. There we go. So there we have our Manitor base coated. Now what I'm waiting to do now is, uh, just for enough time, for the paint that I've just applied to dry and then once it has dried we're going to be applying a non-oil wash um, and so we're going to apply that all over even to this yellow bit well this brown bit um, that will darken it down it will, it will change the appearance quite a bit in fact, I could start, go a little slowly with it, no need to rush. Um, so, null oil, give it a shake, just make sure the pigment's all mixed in, and then we can make a start. So I'm going over the horns first. Just double check now, be on the safe side. Not quite. A few spots here and there that I haven't touched, but as it stands. majority is painted and covered so join me next time why don't you when we'll be highlighting this little beauty and seeing how he looks when he's finished um, but so far that's what we've got so as I say join me next time um, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So, I'll leave you with another one last look at the Manitor in the state of the thing now. But until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. Miss one great big bit on his head.
There we are. Ah, <laughs> oh, you can't get the stuff. Bye for now. <laughs>